Hey, welcome back to our journey through Proverbs. We are today in Proverbs chapter 13. And uh, Proverbs 13 uh, is probably one of the most difficult to interpret for me personally. And so I'm going to walk you through my process so that you can use maybe this tool to help you in your individual search uh, through Proverbs chapter 13. And for that sake, any of the individual Proverbs or chapters of Proverbs, chapters in Proverbs. Uh, My process is this. When I sit down and I read the book of Proverbs, I always ask the Lord to open the eyes of my heart so that I could see the, the lamp in front of my feet. The, the Bible tells me that the, the Bible tells me that the word is a light unto my path and a light to my feet. I want to see the light unto my feet. I want to see the path that's in front of me. And I know that um, that comes through understanding what Scripture is telling me so that I can use the word to make solid decisions and solid choices in my life, that my character can be transformed uh, and eventually not have to think so hard about making wise choices because wisdom becomes more natural. And so Proverbs, when I sit down and I look through a chapter of Proverbs, um, and I do this every day, uh, I do the same thing every day, every morning. I, I open up a chapter of Proverbs with my other devotional reading. And I look for repetitive phrases, things that maybe have not stuck out to me before. Uh, and I, and I, when I work through those repetitive phrases, I ask the Lord, what are the things that you're trying to speak into my heart through repeating it over and over again? Uh, there are a couple of those in Proverbs chapter 13. Uh, the, one, the first is uh, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 12. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. And, and that, that is uh, repeated again in verse 19. A longing fulfilled is sweet to the soul, but fools to test turning from evil. Now, it's important to recognize hope deferred is a longing fulfilled, but and longing fulfilled is sweet to the soul. And I, I think... What are the longings of my soul? Uh, And I'm watchful. I'm aware that I need to be um, careful about the longings of my soul, about what I'm hoping for. Because this verse 12 says that when I, my hope is deferred over and over and over again, that my heart will begin to grow sick. So I need to make sure that I'm aware that I'm watchful about what I'm hoping for. In fact, that is my synopsis word um, for Proverbs chapter 13 is watchful. The other one is the other word that I, I often come back to when I'm reading to take into my day is the word incremental. Incremental. That we grow p- little by little as we watch and we pay attention. That, that the things that I do today the way I invest my day to day will have an impact on what's released to me tomorrow. He who's faithful with a little will be given more. That God releases uh, resources and he releases opportunities as we're faithful with what we're doing now. The person who's continually looking down the road for how they can get more and ignoring what they're responsible for today will never get there. That's what it means to be incremental in life, that I'm looking at what I'm supposed to be doing today, what I'm responsible for today, and I'm investing my energy in what I'm supposed to be good at today. I'm getting better. I'm improving. I'm diligent. I'm working hard at it. I'm watchful that I'm not being distracted. I'm watchful that my hope is not being deferred. So I walk through each chapter of Proverbs and I look for repetitive phrases. Um, this really can be about, this chapter could be about being present in your life. Maybe that's a word that would help you today to go into your life, not thinking about a week from now or, or having something that's, that's renting space in your head that's a month from now or a conversation you have to have after work or maybe a conversation that you got to have after lunch or a conversation about something you're going to have to do in your family, but to live in the present moment. Allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you and operate through you in the present moment and not maybe be so prone to rent space in your head um, to things that that, uh, you cannot change now. You can only change things now. You can't change the future. 
unless you act now. And we definitely cannot change the past, but we can change the impact of the past by how we operate now. Incremental life, being watchful in our life. How are we living? Not running through our day completely oblivious to the people who God has brought into our life around us or oblivious to the circumstances um, that we've created in our heart, the hopes that we have in our heart, the dreams we have in our heart. It's important to have them, but it's also important to be watchful about what we allow in so that we don't um, intentionally make our hearts sick without even knowing it by placing our hopes in things that God has not intended or purposed for us. I want to encourage you today, um, dig into Proverbs chapter 13, because there's a great deal of information here that you could take with you that would help you with your family, that would help you with your work, that will help you with your finances, it'll help you in every aspect of your life. It'll help you with your hobbies, and it'll help you really with your soul care. So I want to encourage you today, dig in, be watchful, Focus on the incremental things that God has for you. Focus on now. Live now. God bless you and have a great day. I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow.